hello guys welcome back to the channel in the last video we have learned view slots now in this video we will learn scope slots in case if you have not watched the last video i highly recommend you to watch it before continuing this video now let's start so here i have created this basic users component here it is it has a card and in that card i have printed some users here is the users objects it has first name last name user avatar and description and here i have printed user avatar user first name and last name in h5 tag and here the user description and in the browser it looked like this now here you might want to make this user component more customizable for example maybe in some places you do not want to display the full name and you want only to display first name or in some places you want to display this full name in anchor tag and some places you do not want anchor tag on this so to implement this here i'll say slot now as we learned in the last video we can print anything and it will be replaced right here now see this and it's working now here i want to print only user first name so for that here i'll say user dot first underscore name now if you go to browser refresh it did not work in the inspect tool here it's a property or method user not defined that is because this user is not available here now here you might get confused this user is available right here in the for loop but here it is not available now here we need a some way to pass this user right here for that view provide us scoped slot so let's see this for that here i'll say bind user is equal to user this user is right here now to access this user here i will say template slot scope and here it'll say slot props now in this template tag we can say slot props dot user dot first name let's see this in browser refresh and it is working similarly here you can say a tag href refresh and here we get anchor link or we can remove this template and provide this slot scope here refresh and here it is working the same in the last video i have mentioned that in view version 2.6 slot attribute is deprecated and it will be removed in version 3 similarly this slot scope attribute is also deprecated in 2.6 and it will be removed in version 3 so here instead of this view slot here we should use v hyphen slot and is equal to slot props if you go to browser refresh it did not work i think here is a default let's see this now it did not work so here the issue is this view slot can be used on components or template so so here we'll say template and cut this from here refresh and it's working now if we remove this default refresh and it is also working it is also provide destructuring so here instead of this slot scope we can say in curly bracket user 
and here user dot first name to browser refresh and it is working let's say it is a named slot so here we'll say name is equal to username so here we'll say v slot colon username is equal to you this is the name of the slot refresh it is working as expected now let's make this user description customizable so here also add slot i think we should add two entire span tag so here we'll say slot and name is equal to description and here we bind user is equal to user now to customize it i will say template and in the last video we have also learned the v slot shorthand so here we'll say hash description the slot name is equal to in curly bracket user and here we'll say in double curly brackets user dot description now to see the difference i will print only 10 letters so we'll say substring 0 to 10 refresh and it is you can see only 10 letters here this is all in this tutorial if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next video mm -hmm.